Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Just giving you a little update on the ultimate streaming. Oh, my goodness. Streaming setup. Shout out to EWIN. I got one of their desks right here that, for me, has been perfect. I've actually upgraded it a little bit with a few modifications that make it literally the perfect place to do live streaming. It is, as my son puts it, almost like a cockpit being in here. Um, I have four screens set up uh, on here. Um, I actually use televisions from uh, Best Buy. You know, I, I could go ahead and get really good monitors and stuff, but for doing what I'm doing, I'm not really doing gaming. If you do gaming, of course, you want the more higher resolution uh, monitors and so forth. But that's not really what uh, I do. What I do is I do a lot of streaming. Um, I end up using a streaming software that's similar to OBS, uh, Live Stream Studio, and I end up streaming to YouTube, so I have to see the comments and things that are going on in there. The streaming software, of course, controls a multitude of cameras from different angles, and of course, you want to be able to keep up with, you know, for me, I end up insetting in there other YouTubers on game days and stuff. So there's a lot of things that are going on, and it's a one-man show, so having everything convenient uh, for me is a must. So what I've done is when you get your desk, your desk is going to come through with uh, one of these right here, which is a wireless charger. Love it. It actually goes over here in the corner, which is fine. But because I'm always looking at my phone or needing to grab it, I ended up cutting my own hole here in the table, putting it up over here and put another wire grommet here because I end up using, um, all the TVs and things like that in the corner, they're actually all the wires are go, going down in there. Same thing with the other side over there. Now, what I also did to make life easier, because I do use a multitude of different devices, and my computer is not here. My computer is actually set over here because I have actually multiple sets set up, but I have to plug everything in. So I've ended up buying, um, in the description I'll have the stuff that I use, it's a four port USB um, piece. So basically run a USB cable over there and I've got four ports in here because I have two Wi-Fi cameras, excuse me, two web cameras here. I end up having um, the keyboard that's set in here, um, a couple of other things that are of course also hooked up that need to go to the computer. So that's convenient because I actually have two of those set on here. I've got another one that's set right here. And again, I drilled a hole in my, my surface in here to have it. But all my wires for the uh, speakers and also for the headphones are over here. The cool thing about the way this thing's set up and the space on here is it's great because you don't feel crowded. You've got space to maneuver. And by having all of these cords and stuff right here, it basically keeps them all out of the way. Now I did do one other thing here that's gonna make things even better is because I have these USB cords that are up here that are up kind of high, they kind of, you, know, you don't really wanna see them. I'd like to be able to have the monitor down lower so that way I can see the screen and the camera facing me uh, can also catch more of me. So what I've actually ordered is some 90 degree turn USB uh, plugs from Amazon. So those will be here tomorrow then that way this will be able to drop down about another two inches, giving me more viewing capacity in here. Um, if you were doing this as a gaming table, you wouldn't have the problem that I had. The problem I had is it's great because it's got the lighting that's uh, on the sides of them things that uh, you can't control them, but it's not really doing anything for me because the cameras are looking directly at me. You don't see the lighting. What I did was, is I actually worked on making sure I could hide the wiring because typically for most gamers, this would be against the wall. Well, the front of my desk here is actually what you're actually going to see. So I modified it. And if you are interested in doing some of these things, um, if you want to get one of these desks, go to uh, eWin and use the discount code MH and you'll get 25% off. But what I ended up doing is I ended up making a, a cover 
for the front of this. And if you want to do something similar to this with your own logo, we can cut that ourselves for you and make a custom piece to go on. So let me show you the front, how we've basically addressed this. Oh, another thing, a couple other things too for our studio. What we've also done here is we've gotten smart light bulbs because we used to have kind of like some older fluorescent light bulbs that were kind of a warm white, which aren't as conducive for working here. But we have now since you can we can control those lights, of course, with our phone app, or I actually got a remote for it. These are Philips light bulbs, which are great because if we want to have lower light in here and things, or if we are streaming, we want more light. And I think I'm actually going to get four more of those light bulbs to go uh, in the ceiling fan up in here, so that way we can control the lighting much better in here to balance it out for doing um, live streaming and things. Uh, lighting, of course, is very, very important. Another thing that I did, which before we get to the front here, which I think is actually kind of cool because it blends in, and that's right here. I ended up getting real simple desk light right here. Um, it's You can actually, you, they have a couple of models of this. You can get one that's also a wireless charger, so you can put your phone on it. Um, I didn't need that because I have the port over there. But the nice thing about this is, this is enough light that you can, if you want to have um, the darkness around you and stuff, that this is enough light to illuminate me and do videotapes. Or also, if I'm working here on the desk, it's great lighting. And it's just touch, just a little touch. So, really simple. So, if I were here just gaming, um, I'd want the lights down so I can see all of this stuff real good. Or if I'm doing some work or doing some stuff and need a little extra light. It also is adjustable so you can have plenty of lighting for yourself but the way that this blends in with the way I've got the screens put in here it ends up looking like it's a support piece it doesn't really look like a lamp it's really thin okay let's look at the other side okay so here is the front side of our uh, streaming deck which is actually a gaming task and I love this myself because I've it, it basically used a strip light uh, that I bought from Home Depot. Um, and it's got a remote to it so I can flash the light. So if we're doing a drawing, we can draw attention to it. This is actually the white light, although this feels more bluish. But that's okay. It's enough to illuminate it. We ended up using our CNC machine to go ahead and carve our moniker on there. We see we got Joe Boo popping up in here and, and our logo and things. The nice thing about this is... With all of the stuff that's on here, and believe me, it's a lot of stuff. When you think about having four different HDMI cables, you got four extension cords, you've got two cameras that are on there, you have the streaming deck that's in there. Oh, I forgot. There's actually a keyboard down in there, so there's a keyboard slide uh, in there as well. We've got the mouse. This is nice because when you're looking at all this, you're not seeing a whole bunch of wiring. Everything is actually tucked in really nice, and when I'm sitting from behind there, it's kind of a clean look. So definitely, um, fit, finish, it's great. A couple of things that I did do too, if you look down below here, you don't see the wiring because I have the wiring coming up. I ended up getting plastic channels for the wires to go up into the system and you don't see them coming up off the floor. There's nothing for the dogs to trip over or anything. I still have a little bit of work left to do once I get the other USB plugs um, to go ahead and get this stuff fastened up with a couple of ties. But once it's done, it's going to be almost streamless. And I got to tell you, already just being able to sit behind there, I literally want to sit back there all day. That's really become my desk office. So beyond just streaming, uh, just coming down here, doing paperwork, uh, taking orders uh, from my website and things like that. It's just comfortable. It is just that much comfortable. So hopefully these are some things that will help you as far as setting up uh, your streaming deck um, system. This works perfectly for me. Um, I actually have three locations that I can use my live stream set at. I have an Alienware um, desktop computer that actually has 12 monitors that are hooked up to it. So whether I'm in the outdoor studio, this studio, or the other set over here, all that stuff comes together in one place. And we'll talk about that 
in future videos. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I'm trying to help you out on what's worked well for me for my studio. I'll see you soon.